Well, it's back. I'm back. We're back. Welcome to CCTV. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. Big Coming over. Oh, look at that. Uh huh. My, my, my. Incoming. Man, the bottom of this thing is huge. Wang. Oh, <laughs> Look at the edge of that thing. Oh, my God. Oh, I got it right there. Yep. You might say, Chris has lost his mind. Well, Chris has not lost his mind. This shy don't lie. Haha, that's my new saying. The fish I don't lie. I mean, you can't get it out the fish eye like this. You can see it. It's like it's like a big bloom. And there's no sun bothering me. Good day. You can see different planets stacked up, the shadows. Oh my god! Check it out! See how it's coming up over there? Oh, the wispy finger clouds. This is zoomed all the way in. Let's see what we get. This is what got me interested. I started seeing this and I said, this looks like the system at seven in the morning. And you notice the finger clouds go up. Now watch as I draw back, you'll start seeing the side of the wall. I started seeing this while I'm drinking my coffee going, come on, I don't want to go to work yet. <laughs> Come on, people. You've got to be able to wake up and see this. In your skies, this is, you think it's a blue cloud and a blue sky and whatever. Shine the sky today, guys. Live California, live news. Just showing you what I'm seeing. You guys be the judge. I know, you're saying it's just clouds. No. Gotta see the outline of the planets, then you start actually start seeing it. How they move the stuff around. I'll be back. We'll watch as it develops. I'll come back at a little bit. I'll be back.
Snow cloud. Now look, what I'm saying is snail cloud. See how it comes down like a snail, crawling across the ground, carrying a big old planet. It's not carrying it, it's just the atmosphere interchange between the planetary systems. Now, I can't tell you exactly what's going on, but it's a lot, and it's big, it's huge. And you'll see this base on these when you see them. The base is like what you're looking for. You see this finger clouds coming up. You can see it's coming up around that planet. See, right here, it's huge. No, I don't have, it's not oblong. But the way it's sitting, sometimes you can just get the outline, like, see the outline right there? Come on, people, wake up. Face of the planet right there. Now, I'll try to find some of the other moons as this thing comes through. See how big it is. You see the base. That's the base. The planet's up here. I know, it sounds crazy, right? It does sound crazy. Now, look at... This is the stuff that's a big giveaway. You see the line? Fingery clouds, you look for those. It's all big old furry. Now right in here there could be a moon develop. But usually when it's this big, the moon's already gone through. Uh, when I say moon, I'm talking about Hatu's moon, which is a, a lot of times you'll see striped clouds around it. But the planet actually itself I think is a little striped. See how these clouds get closer? It tells you the planet's coming over. in there. Now I'm going to try that black and white filter and see if I can really bring it out for you guys. Yesterday I wish I had my camera. I had two asteroids and three smaller planets. I mean you could, the sky was blue so when I get that you see the distinction. I was at Albertson, and the guy started talking to me. I was walking my dog. <clears throat> and he wasn't looking at the sky. He was looking at my dog. He liked my dog a lot. And, um... So, anyways. I missed all that capture. That could be something right there. That could have been one of the other planets on this side. You know, like, this is a planet. That could be a planet. Just the way it is. You see the horizon right here? That could be our two coming up. Our two's big and giant and white. You'll think it's the sun. It's not the sun. Um, see that? I'm not saying that. I'm not sure. I just want you to look at the whole scope of it. And the fisher eye kind of gathers it all together. If you have someone that could show you, like the base cloud. So we know there's the base cloud. See that? So as you look in your sky with your eyes, you're going to see this. And then if you got a fish eye camera like this, this little lens costs a, was a 10 pack of lenses for 12 bucks on Amazon. Anybody can buy them. There's all kinds of brands. But you guys get out there with the cameras and you, and you know, while you're drinking your coffee garden and you go, hmm, that don't look right. Let me get my fish eye. Fish eyes don't lie. <laughs> That's my new saying. Look at that. We got an income and let's see if we can get them on the fish eye. I don't know if you can see them. Here's a chem trailer. I haven't seen a chem trailer in probably three, four or five weeks, something like that. No chem trails. 
These are planetary clouds. This thing he left behind is a small chemtrail. But he's shiny. I don't know if you can see him on this lens. He's up right about there somewhere. Right above the tree line. Now see the, you see as it comes over me, are you guys watching this? As it comes over, the big fish, the, you know, the finger clouds are getting bigger, closer, right above my head. This is the planet right over me. There's your base. Now over here, you got these shadows, right? Now, um, I've been looking at this and I keep considering this. Now I'm, I'm doing this with you guys. Now also consider this ridge. This ridge could be a bigger planet. I mean, that's how big they are. This could be a planet and this could be a planet because they're, they're by the sun. Um, they're coming from outside, but they're so close that you'll see ones that are this big with the base. And as they come over you, um, those clouds will go right over my house. The planet is right there, the big one I'm looking at right there. But now you come down here towards the sun in the east and you're starting to see this thing. Now I'm hoping <clears throat> when I narrate this, and I'm not narrated, when I put a, um, when I do the black, that black silver filter is it's a combination of two filters and it really brings everything out. Um, better than you can see it with your eyes. But I, I could see that right there. Could be the R2. It's really like, you think it's just a big old round thing of clouds, but see now that could just be the, the way the sun, but then again, what's blocking the sun, right? I'm very familiar with this. Um, let's focus on this whole area of the sky right here. Now, I'm not exaggerating this, guys. Not, not at all. Just trying to read it. Now, I could be wrong, but that's okay because that's part of the game here. It's being wrong in the face of the fact that you're wrong. This part I'm not wrong about, I don't believe at all. Um, that's why I'm just not stopping because I want you just to it, it takes about uh, 20 minutes and it'll be gone guys okay so we're, we're 12 minutes into this it's up over my trees these finger clouds that we looked at a minute ago I mean they're getting close let's get another view I know it sounds like I'm narrating a sports thing but look they're getting right over my house now and that means that right there I don't know if you just can't it's in there right in there alright this is like this is incredible freaking planet <laughs> it's too early. I want more coffee. <laughs> but you can see the whole sky is doing stuff. Okay. We'll quit till these finger clouds go. Because these finger clouds are indication. And they wrap around. Right there. Like my sound effects? And there's a wall of it. Now, I don't know if it's that big. It's in there. Just trust me, it's in there. Now, I put some black on black, I'm in purple, and on blue. Now, look way to the horizon. Look what? Part of your snail cloud. I'm getting up close and personal. Boom, it's right on top of me right now. That's it up there, high up in, high up in the sky. You don't see it because you're not awake. Father, I ask right now for a blessing on my people, on my channel. 12 minute blessing, 11-11 blessing. Open your 
rise. Let's see how close this is. This ain't normal. It's not normal to get these types of clouds like this every other day. Right now it's a, it's a, it's a well, seven o'clock in the morning is different for me. Um, but normally it's 10, 11 o'clock, one o'clock, four o'clock. Now I got something else in track. Cause it's coming over. It's just out there like, like pool balls on a table, but they're retracting from each other. They're pushing themselves around. And as the sun, as we ro as we orbit, the sun's in one spot, but as we orbit and the sun goes over, well, we actually go down towards the east, right? Uh -huh. We orbit towards the east. Um, these things are just there in front of the sun. So as, you, as they move around, this is what I believe, as they move around, they're kind of like balls on a table, pool balls, but they're magnets. So if one ball comes, like the eight ball comes next to the seven ball, pushes the seven ball away. And what we're seeing it sometimes is get pushed into more of these luminous clouds, these um, nocturnous clouds. You know, these are space clouds. A lot of this is space stuff going on way outside of our atmosphere like look at that dark one over here and then look at the edge that's the kind of stuff I want to catch for you because I really want you to see it and this is my backyard um, you know I can show you on a cam these because they remember the cams are on the buildings in Mexico that are 25 story hotels and the hotels on a hill that's already 100 feet up or 200 feet up. So we're looking straight across the horizon. Now from my backyard shot, <clears throat> I discovered a fish I don't lie. And so here I am, not even drinking coffee. And I was gonna to try to put this on a tripod, but I wouldn't have done it justice um, getting these shadows. This, this shadow right here is humongous. So what I say right here, and I'm saying that right there, it's a big old object. I think this is a rays from the sun coming up. I think this might be an R2 moon. And then you come over here, got the bigger planet. You got that going on. Got that planet over there. Got maybe possible a moon. And then right here. Oh, big blue Nebiru. Look at that, guys. It's right. I mean, this is like the perfect place of filming this. Okay, now, remember all this stuff? All this was way over here, right? So, my take on it is that it was just sitting there, um, moving around, like it's doing. Big old planet right now. It's just sitting there moving around. And we just think it's a big blue sky. We're looking at the dark side of this planet. We're looking at the reflection of the sun to our planet and our atmosphere back up into its planet. And since it's already a water planet, um, it's it's got a blue hint to it. So um, just follow that. Now, it's moved all the way across the sky. California. I can tell you, I've lived here for 22 years now, straight. I lived here for five years when I was a kid. And all the time, I would say, I wish the sun would go down and turn off and not be so bright. Of course, those are my drug years. But now, come on. You have to have an imagination just to open up your mind to understand what's going on. Now we're gonna go back over here and see what this planet's doing. The sun's getting brighter. Don't mean if that's a planet, it's, see, if that's a planet, it's just going to be a big shadow there. If this is a moon, it's going to be a big shadow there. Well, just a robot. I reality is, I, like it. I know, it's hard to believe this, years. but this could be R2. I showed you R2's moon on that last video. So, if that's R2, this could be... Sarah Rue to the left, usually. This could be a moon. Meanwhile, Big Blue's coming over. Sun's coming up, so Big Blue's going to change its 
Ostia here. When I say that, it's gonna either get more clouds or get red clouds or get some kind of weird clouds. But see that? And just notice this. I don't know if I'm getting it. Right on top of that pointy tree. I just, with my eyes, I seen it really dark. That's the one I keep circling, saying, now see, the sun comes out, changes your perspective. That's crazy. Yeah. That's something. Something, something. I am trying to nail them. Oh, look at the sun. With the... See, now, look. Come on, guys. Why is it now? Why isn't those clouds? Come on. Come on. Why ain't those clouds shading? Why are they shading? Why is the sun coming up? And these clouds are all lit up. Come on. Open up eyes. Okay, there you go. Now if I step away from that light. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. See, that's how you nail it. That's something. Whatever. I don't care. I just heard someone say, you're crazy, Chris. You know, at least I'm crazy enough to show you. You don't think that's a planet going over. See, now the sky is turning California blue. The sky is all crazy in the east. Okay, now sneak around. It's out of my house. I'm going to go up front and see if I can get something on a larger scale. My front yard. It gives you a different view. But backyard, I got the good south view where the house would interrupt that. Oh, yeah. It's big bloom. You guys are getting 20 minutes of my time this morning. I could be making a video to put on. I'm going to go live. I'm just going to keep going live. I don't know about anything else. It's just quicker and easier. And I give you guys a lot more time. And I could spend 18 hours on a video. Now see that right there? You say, okay, that's the sun coming up. Yeah. So I said, whatever. I heard someone just say, it could be the sun simulator, Chris. I know. Oh, the sun's going to bother my view now. All right. Let's see. Yeah, the sun's cranking now. See, totally changed the atmosphere. Your view. All right, calling it quits. It's flying over. All right, I didn't quit yet, but I want to see if I can catch the tail end of it. This side. Looking north now. Northeast. North. You know, you don't know what you're going to find. Let's see if I can catch some of the... OCG. That could be OCG right there. OCG is obstacle plus the group. Obst obstacle plus the group is um, debris, rocks, moons, asteroids. Um, yesterday when I was sitting there with no camera, I seen this one cloud and I mean literally it curled across the sky and had like a dragon's face. I'm sitting there and this guy's trying to talk to me and I'm so distracted by what I'm looking at. He don't know what I'm looking at. He notices I'm looking up a lot. But he's talking about my dog. <laughs> and so, um, kind of had a resemblance of that coming in. Um, that's definitely some debris stuff going on. You kind of get a, a feel for it. It's usually on a slant, and it's usually right around the system when it comes through. So Nibiru just went up a lot. It's, it's uh, all behind that cloud. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm doing a show. Ah.